Hi guys, this is Emnal and we are back playing House of Iron 4. It is what, uh, episode 4 I think, and we are, well, we are not quite at war, but we just uh, said, uh, told Germany to go fuck themselves and that we are not going to give up our nicely fortified Sudeten land. And well, we'll see how it goes. We slowed it down from our mass 5 and let's see if they actually go to war with us and if our uh, friends, diminish dictats. Germany demands this for Sudetenland border uh, territory in Czechoslovakia, which is home to the considerable German, German minority, have, in, have intensified recently. Jesus, I cannot read. Uh, at the summit held in Munich, Germany, Britain, France, and Italy sought to find a diplomatic solution to the so called Sudeten crisis. While well, Britain and France have both accepted the German demands as reasonable, Czechoslovakia, which wasn't invited to the conference, has refused uh, to yield an inch. It is uh, it now faces Germany alone in what appears to be a hopeless battle. We will never surrender. All right. Well, they still have guarantees on us. They haven't actually joined the joined the war yet, but well. Fingers crossed. And yep. And here they are. Second World War has officially started, and we are already being attacked here. Now let's see how the uh, Air Force thinks this uh, is going. So as you can see, the their enemy detection, the detection is one right now. Our uh, Okay, so we are already doing sorties and we are uh, doing some damage to the divisions. As you can see, those uh, we are bombing right here, which provides air support. Uh, plus 14% and uh, enemy superiority, uh, enemy air superiority uh, minus 47% to their defense and well, as you can see, the Panzers aren't having the best of days attacking into mountains, into those forests and so on. But that's to be expected, of course. Uh, yeah, Infantry is doing a bit better, but as you can see, no, not that impressive. 64 against our enough defense. Uh, well, we'll see if how much they will be able to throw at us, but well, considering that they have uh, well, at least one more front uh, here to care uh, to care about, we should be okay, and as long as our air force survives. Once again, uh, doing some bombing around here. Not a single battle has been finished yet, but we'll see. Uh, this one is already looking fairly grim, but well, it's more or less uh, well. We have advantage two to one basically because. Uh, they uh, their breakthrough is pathetic compared to to what we have, and that means that we do twice the damage because our damage is going undefended while uh, they are uh, doing the uh, defended, well, and we are going to join the allies. Uh, oh right, uh, I think. Oh, actually, we our our trades are holding, so that's good. Oh yeah, so we are moving here, but the problem is that this bit, well, even if we lose them, losing this won't be that big of an issue because both of those are uh, nicely 45 mountains. But yeah. So, well, it will, be, it will be fairly difficult to fight with, well, holding with a single division because, uh, well, there is no time to, to regain. Oh, ah, of course. We have uh, 300 political power, so the, we can either go for war economy, uh, which isn't actually all that great of an idea right now, because, well, uh, at this very moment, uh, we have very little in terms of... Uh, we have only place for those five uh, military factories, right? So. And that has to go to the top. We, we need to keep them, uh, keep them repaired because they are getting bombed. Uh, so uh, 
it's actually more important for us to pick uh, division recovery here, I, I believe. Uh, as a priority, not so much, because uh, that wouldn't make much of a difference. If there was a... Uh, 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 you know, um, ground support bit that would be nice, but uh, division recovery rate, so we we regain organization between the attacks. Uh, here we have uh, plus ten percent air superiority. Uh, that would be nice, but I'm not sure how long we'll be able to hold on to our superiority. Uh, and we already uh, so. Basically, the, the what air superiority does is, is it cuts the uh, the breakthrough uh, feather, and well, we are at least right now cutting it uh, hard enough, so that would be an overkill. And I'd rather have, so we have we can either have additional plus uh, twelve percent to division recover rate, right? which is actually pretty decent. I don't think any other nation, or at least an, any other major nation, actually has plus 12 to the division recovery. Or we can get plus 10% division attack or plus 10% division defense. Uh, sadly we don't have anything like that. Infantry genius or something like that. Although, actually this would have to be, I think, a special forces genius. Um, I think we are going with the offense. I, I actually don't remember. I've of course tested it, I've used it earlier, but I don't know. I don't remember now if that offense will actually apply here to the damage done by us on the defense. Because defense I'm pretty sure is going to basically boost our defense, which is pointless right now. Um, but actually doing uh, damage to our attackers, that's, that's what matters. So yeah, we are going to uh, so we are going to actually rely on my lack of knowledge and uh, just go to for the division attack here. Uh, I think if I was very worried I would go for uh, division recovery so we can uh, circle our units back and forth but I think we should be uh, we should be holding let's see country yes so that actually increases the damage we are doing. Well, alright, let's speed it up to, to like 4 or something. Uh, keep an eye on that. Okay, well. That's doing quite alright. All the Commonwealth countries joining in. Yeah, this is a fully fledged uh, Second World War. We haven't lost much. Okay, let's see how deadly so we lost like hundreds against the 3000 300 against the 2000 yeah well attacking into mountains well actually this was a forest well attacking into forts not not the healthiest thing to do uh, of course we lost well now that's quite a lot of bombers actually they have now uh, six percent uh, of air detection to our 10 so we are intercepting some of them uh, of the bombers, and we have uh, placed and we have some anti air. Uh, but I'm not sure what they are actually doing. Uh, carrying out ground missions. So I imagine that's uh, missions against our our units. But well, or are they bombing? Uh, Mm, are they bombing strategically or are they bombing our, uh, you know, close air support? Um, well, it seems that it's... Oh, well, it's strategically. Hopefully we catch some. Alright, uh, now we are, what, September, still a bit... Well, I think we'll just start by... Uh, we're just going to continue this way. At least when it comes to that. Uh, well, that, that radio isn't actually all that useful for, uh, for us right now, but I don't think we want to uh, switch it for anything, do we? That's still what... Uh, maybe? 
Maybe we gonna just go for this burst industry in a sec. Uh, okay, let's wait for it to uh, another 10 days. Radio will be useful, but once we get, go on the offensive, and that's not going to be tomorrow. Mm, okay, arms export finishing. Uh, well, we could wrap this up by getting another minus 3%. But, well, uh, we already discussed that there isn't much left to produce except, you know, repairing all the things they break. And th this doesn't take take long. Uh, that's, yeah, one day, seven days actually, okay, this one has been beaten up. Well, that's mostly big. Oh, right, because that's, uh, this is not actually being repaired automatically, this is... Uh, uh, just in getting uh, in ambient repair. Let's let's call it like all the all the things uh, do. So that's why it's fifteen. But it's, well, we'll get to uh, we'll get to repair it much faster, I think. Uh, but uh, I think we actually need to get our manpower sorted because seventy days is quite a long time. And definitely getting 140 on uh, 18k would be a big, big stretch. So, yeah, we're going to and just stick to our original plan and then we can uh, get our research slot and then get another research slot. And perhaps at that point we'll be able to finally get some, uh, well, I don't know, um, air doctrine going or something. Hmm, actually, going air, air doctrine outright wouldn't be a terrible idea, but, I mean, uh, it's it's all a matter of, you know, um, our industry. So, uh, as you can see, we already, we already lost 60 fighters, uh, only 10 uh, close air support, but, yeah, it's not pretty in the air. At least they are not sending all all the things they have on us, and we can uh, do some bombing in, in peace. Mm, not much in terms of losses, <laughs> quite yet. Uh, so yeah, there, there's a question if we go for industry or uh, or for the you know air support doctrine. Yeah, just, as soon as this reaches 30, I'm just going to speed up because this is not much is happening, but I don't think we can afford a counter attack quite yet. As you can see, they are spread pretty thin. They have uh, definitely more here, and for whatever reason, they are attempting to, to, to attack on the marginal line rather than going through Belgium. Uh, reassert Eastern claims. Yeah, I think that's kind of throws a wrench into the standard way of going about it. Uh, not sure if they have uh, claims on the on the Benelux countries yet. Well, we'll see how that goes. And there is apparently some uh, French units landing in Bremen, and it seems like, uh, yeah, uh, ten Brits uh, right behind them. That's interesting. We'll see how that goes. Uh, now, do we want this mechanical computing? I think not. <laughs> not quite. I think uh, our uh, so 160 days. So that would will end the uh, if we go for a uh, doctrine. That's one. September, October, November, December. So that would. And at the end of January. Yeah, I think I'd I'd rather have my industry buffed, so let's switch that to industry. Yes, and not not caring about radio that much. It's not like we have many option, many ways of actually reinforcing stuff. So let's speed it up. Mm, not much happening quite yet. It seems like our forts are holding. 
It's a bit of a binary situation, isn't it? Like either they hold or the stream roll for us. I think we prepared well when it comes to uh, our troops. Let's say, well, we'll see how that goes once we lose all the planes we have and we we'll have to fight in our superiority. We'll see if the uh, it seems like at least uh, the um, the piercing is on point. It's not like like of course the like tanks aren't all that useful fighting you know attacking bloody forty-five mountains, but well still. And well, as you can see, they are smashing our forts. Uh, pretty dedicatedly. Let's say that was the word. They are smashing it dedicatedly. Jesus, that's a lot of clicking. Mm, well, that landing is going nowhere. Where are the other landings going? Okay, some of them landed. Not in the port. Okay, that's... <laughs> that's not gonna go well for you unless, you know... Someone landing in Bremer or some uh, Wilhelmshaven, but uh, well, okay, yeah, that's going badly. Well, at least they are uh, keeping them busy here and there. All right, how is the resources? Uh, still just missing rubber. I think that's all right. And I think we are. Let's see. Uh, do we have a uh, so we are producing actually too much artillery. Uh, who knew that was uh, there was such thing? Mm, since we are one tank still too much, I'll just switch one to anti air. Mm, so that seems to be uh, lagging behind a little bit. It's actually pretty easy to, to balance your things if you are using only one template, but well. And of course, I mean, it would be nice to, to use our... Uh, so my, my early decision that we are not going to use our uh, you know, cutting-edge tank technology, but well, tanks aren't exactly the best defensive units, and they take a lot of... Uh, yeah, industrial capacity to, to, to field and we, as you can see, we are touch and go. We basically have what, maybe it's nine, nine divisions spare after uh, if, uh, putting one in each province. So yeah, uh, it was perhaps like if you're not playing on veteran difficulty, then yet you can probably go with tanks. Uh, of course, the, the lack of tanks is going to bite us in the ass if or rather when we decide to uh, to go for uh, for the counteroffensive. Because, well, just let me tell you that. Uh, remember how I told I was talking about the fact that the anti-air thing uh, reduces, uh, you know, the um, the effect of. Uh, reduces the effect of uh, enemy air superiority. And that's true, but it only reduces it uh, in, in combat. It doesn't reduce the effects on the movement. So we will end up, if we ever, well, once we attack, we'll be fighting in enemy air superiority, which uh, will uh, end up in our um, infantry moving one kilometer per, <coughs> I'm sorry, one kilometer per hour. Pain in the ass, of course, yeah. And having tanks would actually be a great thing. Uh, should we actually get some tanks then? Uh, uh. Okay, defensive preparations. Now, uh, that, as I discussed earlier, basically jump, uh, jumped the conscription, uh, saved us 300 points and jumped it from volunteer only to extensive conscription, and now we have half a million people to field. Uh, definitely going, so... Hmm. Well, we can go for tanks, as I mentioned. Uh, <laughs> or... Straight for research. 
Mm-hmm. Of course, like the other option is to, to try to actually field enough fighters. Uh, but that would require us to probably get the, the fighters right here. Uh, you know, at least one or, well, it's almost, well, it's not actually 40. So get the fighter models. Uh, yeah, the, all those are probably a pretty decent option, but uh, it's probably better off, but by just, we are probably best off by just starting uh, with the bloody research slot, the fourth one, finally, so, yeah. Go with that. And then I think we'll get industry to, to get it over with and get for another research slot. Okay, so Italy joined Axis and Belgium. Okay, so Belgium got attacked and got finally declared on. Which may... Okay, so let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> that may be the end of it. Unless France uh, actually moves some units on the uh, Italian border. Which, that would be a pain in the ass. But we'll see. Uh, it's probably since we got... Uh, we have some manpower, so let's not waste any more time and start building uh, new units. Okay, someone's sending us uh, a handful of guns and artillery a month and some infantry equipment one. Yeah, sure. At some point we'll probably like to switch to infantry equipment too, but uh, yeah. And, oh, actually, wow, they did read really quickly. Well, I guess I'm on speed 5, so... Because, well, it, it, there isn't much we can do right now. I think what we... Uh, are they going dancing of war? If, if they start going dancing of war, uh, we will probably try to take all the uh, divisions that are spare, which is, I mean... Every division that has a double in the province, put them all around here and then try to do a push towards Polish territory here and try to cut off the Silesia. Uh, that's probably not going to work because, as I mentioned, our units will move uh, snail space, but well, that's at least the idea. Yeah, it seems like the, our fortresses are more or less impenetrable here. At least to, to like whatever they're attacking with, like a single divisions due to, you know, being fairly stretched. So those uh, landings here failed. Oh, what are the losses actually? Um, oh yeah, so <laughs> that's like, wow. How many divisions? That's at least 16 to 20 divisions lost by United Kingdom. Right. <laughs> Good job, United Kingdom. Uh, now. Uh, uh, uh. Do I want to go for war economy? I think I, right now it's it's an optimal uh, choice, uh, especially since we uh, will soon get a twenty more percent in terms of building space which we'll be able to put into use by building additional military factories so yep and there is nothing uh i mean the next one i guess is that ground support bit here but yeah i think we as you can see if, yeah we we are not out of the woods yet we we barely have enough to 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 to, to support the troops we are using so uh, and well fielding so yeah Let's not get complacent. Of course, you well, just you don't want to pick that because that's uh, well, um, minus three percent recruited population, which would result in us uh, not having any spare population. Well, maybe like hundred thousand, but yeah, definitely like I don't think there is like maybe if you are playing as a Soviet Union, but even then. Maybe if you are going 
if you have a focus tree option that gives you like 5%, additional 5% of recruiting population, and then you go with mass assault and get additional 5% here, or is it here, or with uh, desperate defense and get like additional whatever around here, things like that, and maybe, but uh, almost never worth it. It's a terrible, terrible choice there. Really, France is trying to land in Bremen and losing divisions. And defending there. So, how are we on the plane? So, you guys are down to 600. Not great. You have 2k. You have around uh, k and a half. And you have around k. Uh, Let's see planes. Uh, if I wanted to, like, there's a license production, isn't it? You can now license equipment uh, paying in uh, uh, civilian factories to be able to build something that someone else researched. Mm, well, they haven't researched tanks. Uh, no, tier 2. Okay, so for example, if we wanted anti tank guns, we would be able to. Well, they, were, they would accept. And we would pay them one uh, civilian factory uh, until we cancel that. So there is that. Aircraft. Uh, suppose air support. Well, this one at least is somewhat buffed. Uh, should we buff ours? Probably not. Um, we'll save up for later. Those would put most likely. Uh, well, it seems that they haven't gotten to hurricanes just yet. And that's we are not uh, keen on. Yeah, it's, it seems like everything basically costs one. So, something that is like way over our heads. Yeah, nothing seems to, uh, to cost more than one or less than one. Like for example, basic infantry equipment here. How about you? Um, interwar fighter. Okay, so they they don't have fighters. Uh, better fighters. Uh, how about you? Oh, you're not going to accept because you are isolationists and asshole. And you still have interwar fighters. And uh, actually, that would show them anyway, right? Also support naval bomber. What Canada? Nope. Well, I guess it's not barely the start of 39, so okay, that's that's actually understandable. They, they don't have that yet. Or is it though? I mean... So they would probably start building hurricanes by 1940? Yeah. Doesn't sound... Uh... Oh, wow, okay, so Belgium went... It's up really fast. Huh. Hey, hey, hey. This is not looking good. Not looking good at all. Uh, okay. You guys just finishing Rebentrop Molotov. Huh. Mm. Alright, I think it's time to start positioning our, our troops there. Okay, so let's do the front line to at least try to pull uh yeah, those two. I mean what's up? Ready? Pause. Oh, right. Uh, okay, so they're going dancing over war, but before they s declare war on Poland, the, the France will be probably gone, so... Not good at all. Alright. Uh, so you can also go there. Same goes 
for you. I'd rather have. Um, well, guys with actually heavy. Uh, you know, good experience, but they don't want to shuffle them around, and it seems like. Well, we are not gaining a lot of experience, actually lost the and the rest of the well-trained ones. Uh, Alright, so, uh, you've been assigned already. Mm, yeah, you will do. We have what, five divisions to spare. Oh, I guess this this guy too. I I really hope that I haven't fucked it up and moved more than one from from some position. That would be the end of us. Let's slow it down uh, just to see. Uh, yeah, looks good. Yeah, seems okay. All right, and can I please get a bloody front line here? Why isn't this working? Okay, you know what? Uh, let's put you in a different group then, because this is getting annoying. And red, please. Uh, max entrenchment, max planning would be nice, but okay, well. One less planning, but will lower your combat width. And yeah, go on this. There we go. All right, we are out of time though, so we'll see if uh, France survives long enough, uh, or well, how things develop, and if there is even a possibility of counterattack for uh, for us to do. It looks pretty busy around here, and it's only uh, it's only going to get busier, and it probably would be best if we, if we were able to wait another what 70 days for the for the war with Poland to start perhaps they will be able to hold the line well we shall see and it would be nice if of course UK rather than wasting the uh, forces trying to land here actually send a single fucking division to Fr division to France that would be perfect but no such luck apparently Anyway, I'm going to see you next time. Thanks for watching.